Well, people across the country are remembering Alex Trebek tonight. The 80 year old hosted Jeopardy since 1984. The game show announced Trebek's death in a tweet this morning. It follows his battle with stage four pancreatic cancer. KXAN's Tahir Rahman now reports how the show and its hosts touch so many lives right here in Central Texas. I started watching in elementary school with my grandma. She would make a snack and we'd flip on Jeopardy. For the next two decades or so, through moves across state lines and a new business venture in Austin, one constant in Tom Rosen's life has been Jeopardy with its longtime host, Alex Trebek. As you watch it, you are participating in it. And, and in that sort of act of participating in it, Alex is also the host to you. At least there, for that half hour, it was cool to be the person that knew too much about everything. State Representative Erin Zwiener also grew up watching the show and got to fulfill her dream of being on it in 2012. What is health? Yes. It taught me a lot about myself and who I am under pressure. Quite frankly, it's one of the reasons that I think I had the confidence to also do something like run for office. Zwiener says her path to office wouldn't have existed without her game show earnings. Now, the news of Trebek's death comes as she clinches a second term. It's had a tremendous impact on American culture, and I think that's something he built. He wasn't just the face of it. He was the architect of that show as well. The architect of a show that's become a ritual for so many, one that Rosen believes Trebek has built to outlast even himself. Given Alex's presence, his role, and his influence and impact uh, will be able to live beyond him. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News. We love you, Alex. That's very kind. Thank you.